So I got a box in today, but it's not my box. It's Yeti's. So let's see what's in the box. Hey everyone, how's it going? So I got a box in today, but it's not my box. Well, there's two pieces in there that's mine, but pretty much the whole box is Yeti's. Um, while he was over here in the States on holiday, he found a good deal for some GPUs. So I'm gonna host this rig, we're gonna build up a rig, but first let's open it up and see what we got in here. Oh, someone finally got me with packing peanuts. <laughs> About time. I send them out to everyone else. Nice pack job, though. Oh, let's see what we got here. They're all individually wrapped. And uh, actually, surprisingly, they're also even wrapped in bubble wrap mailers. Oh, and even more bubble wrap. Okay, cool. Okay, so first card is... Yep, these should all be EVGA GeForce 2080 Ti's. He bought eight of these to make a flux mining rig. And first one looks perfectly fine. Let's keep on digging in. This is unmarked. Oh wait, no, hold on. Nope, that's just a pin number. What the heck is this? RTX. This might be one of the 3070s. Hold on. Okay, you're unmuted. Is this the 3070? Because it's not marked anywhere. I think that's the 3070 blower. Okay. Actually, Rick, there's three cards in there for you. There's oh, two 3070s and a, and a slightly broken 3070 Ti. Um, needs a new fan on it. But I thought I would grab that because he offered it to me for like $100. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is probably a 3070... Um, is it EVGA? I don't even know what brand this is. Okay, this one's a triple fan 2080 Ti. Oh, this is my other 3070. It's a Zotac. Oh my god. Yeti, you got me a Zotac. Maybe I should send this to Chump so the fans can fall off. <laughs> Let me put it to this side. That's my pile. It's another 3070. So apparently I got an extra 3070. Wasn't one of these supposed to be a TI? 3070, 3070. Another Zotac. Got a Zotac triple fan. This is... Oh, it's even got a ton of little heat sinks on the back. Uh, this one... I can't tell, because I think he covered it over with uh, all heat sinks. It's a mystery card. <laughs> but we're going to put this over here. Interesting. Okay, it says it's an Asus 3060, but I'm not so sure about that. Let's open this up. And, okay, that's better. We're not expecting any 3060s in this bundle. This is another EVGA RTX 2080 Ti dual fan model. Another box. And this box even has a Micro Center sticker. <laughs> this one also says 3060. I highly doubt it. Okay, this one's an Asus dual fan RTX 2080 Ti. That gives him one, two, three, four 2080 Ti so far. There should be four more in here. Now you're just playing with me because I'd rather have that than the uh, 2080 Ti. But let's see what's actually in here. An Asus triple fan. I can tell that much. An Asus triple fan. This is a... the label 2080 ti okay cool okay, it's a twin fan evga 2080 ti nice 
And we got one more box in here, and that's it. To give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this is the right amount of cards. My other stack here, I got something wrong in there. So we'll uh, go back through that in a second. And another EVGA GeForce 2080 Ti. So, make sure there's nothing else in this mess. Okay, that's it for GPUs. So, we're supposed to have eight 2080 Ti's. As of right now, I got five, six, seven in Yeti's pile. So one of these is actually a 2080 Ti. Okay, so I got the table and everything set up here. I got his eight 2080 Ti's, screwdriver of course, and I am loaning him until he gets his own case, one of my extra brand new Octominer X8 Ultra Plus cases. So let's go ahead and cue the music and a montage. Let's do a build. So there you go. I tried to space them out as much as I could to try to allow airflow to come through. That's why you saw me switch a few cards around after I initially placed them. Uh, it was definitely going to choke off all those big cards over here. So I threw this one in the middle to try to give a little more spacing. And I threw the blower card right next to the actual motherboard itself because I don't have to worry about the back cooling at all. And it should be perfectly fine. Did a little bit of cable management. Let's get this standing up by my computer on the bench and get it powered up and see if what we can do with it. Okay, we got it powered on. All eight cards are recognized. I got all four power cables connected up to my PDU up here just for testing purposes. And as you can see, it says Yeti Octo 6. We are set to go. And we can see right here, all the 2080 Ti's. Right now idling only 161.4 watts. Let's get a flight sheet set up for flux on this. Okay, it is up and running. We are using Mini Z. All the clocks that we're doing for everything is 200 on the core, zero on the memory, except for GPU 7, that 2080 Ti. I keep getting errors on it if I go 200, so I had to drop it down to 100. Each card is doing about 200 watts each, and it figures the card that's having issues is the best card out of this whole rig. It's the EVGA GeForce 2080 Ti for the Win 3 card. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this card, but it's still hash, and we're getting really good hash rate out of it, but it just can't handle the extra core for some reason. But everything else is running with the case open, and the temperatures are doing pretty good. This first card right here is running a little warm. I got to run the fan at 85% because we got the auto fan on. Let's close it up, let it run for 10 minutes, and see if it gets a little bit better when we are really forcing air through the Octominer. Okay, now after having the cover closed on it, everything seems to be running fine. That top card actually need to go from 85 to 90% to keep it cool, but anything below 70C is pretty much okay on these cards. Not worried about it at all. The average is still coming up, but we're getting 688 here. I can see like 691, 692 on Mini Z, and it is running great at 1776 watts total. So let's go ahead and deploy it outside in the crypto shed. Okay, so I made a space right here. I moved uh, Yeti's Vega 56 rig over a little bit because I want to have 
this new rig with the 2080 Ti's more in line in the front of these uh, intakes, so this way it gets cooler air, because it's going to be probably the most power-hungry rig out of all of these. Remember, these three over here are mine, this is Yeti's, and these two are 56's, so I'm going to throw it right in here, when they get the power wires and the ethernet wire ran first, before I pick up that rig and bring it in here, because it weighs a lethal ton. And since my PDU doesn't have any C19 connectors on it, I need to use four C13 connectors and individually connect power to all four power supplies. Not a big deal. I got green cables. Okay, so I got the Ethernet RAN. That's, you just saw me hang it over there. And I put two green lines here and then two green lines on the top here. This way you can spread the load out on the 240 volts from one leg to the other and not overload one bank on the PDU. Always balance your power. So let me go get the rig now. That thing weighs every bit of 120 pounds. Okay, it's installed, it's powering up. Let's go downstairs back to the computer again real quick and finish up this video. Okay, it's been installed in the shed, up and running. We can see we're getting up to 90 soles on 120 ATI, as low as like 8230 on another. They're a mixed bag, but the overclocks are basically the same. I haven't changed them at all. Let's go on over to the PDU and get that set up as well. So if I go over to the PDU, definitely see we have a bit of a jump in power here. Uh, they're right here. You can actually see the jump. This is the power from the unit. We were pulling 3,567 watts, and now we're pulling... 4,200, and actually we're pulling 5,300 watts right now, right there, 5,320 watts. So it's still readjusting itself. In the meantime, let's go to the outlets, <clears throat> and we can see I put it on 7, 8, and then down here on the second one, I put it on 8, 19, and 20. So I need to name these and then make an outlet group. This way I can see everything. Cool, so now we have all four of our outlets numbered, and we can see the individual wattage on each one. Now, let's go over to outlet groups, and let's make a new outlet group. And we're going to add in 7 and 8, and 19 and 20, and again, call it Yeti 2080 Ti. And what this does, it makes it so I can actually switch them all on and off at the same time, all four of the uh, power supplies gives me its own individual uh, kilowatt hour meter on these four, right on this group, and we can see the full amount right here. 1,781 watts compared to 1,788 kilowatt, or 1,788 watts that shows up on Hive OS. So it's really, really close. I mean, we're talking, what, 10 watt discrepancy, if that at most, and anything's plus or minus 1%. So I call that perfect. Uh, this card's still running a little warm. This card, uh, for some reason, just doesn't want to get out of 40%, but it's running okay. It should probably be more like 50%, but unfortunately, remember, you can't set a fan speed if you already have your automatic enabled. So that's it for this video. We have Yeti's Flux Rig with 2080 Ti's all built up. This is one of his rigs that he's going to keep on running on Flux after the ETH merge. Thanks for watching. Comments down below. Come say hi over at Misfit Mining Discord, and I will catch you on the next video.